Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Now um, I'm doing a very unique seal, um, Chinese seal, but in uh, spelling language or uh, Western letters. Uh, it's a Vietnamese actually with uh, special symbols, essence. Uh, this is uh, for Lei Chuan Zhuang, or in Chinese, Li Chuan Yong. I just did the Chinese version. This is the Vietnamese version. And um, for doing this kind of seal, there's some, uh, uh, something difficult. I'd like to mention that uh, you cannot use computer font. Uh, you have to handwrite it with a marker. If you can sign it with a marker within the square of the stone size, this is very uh, big stone, very beautiful, isn't it? Um, so you can you can um, use the measurement of the stone and then try you know make a square and try to fit in that square with your handwriting signature with a marker, not the ball pen or any uh, other regular pen, just you know, have to use a thicker pen. Uh, if you can do that, I probably can do the carving for you. Uh, so this is considered as a signature seal. Um, very challenge. You can see that I have made uh, quite uh, uh, far away from the beginning. So now I'm working on the last, last uh, uh, name. I mean last uh, part of the First thing. This is letter T with a big one, then uh, this little U I O N G. So I'm doing this G first. I use a little knife. You can see why I cannot do the mechanic uh, font like it's perfect straight or a level, you know, like perfect round. I cannot do that because I'm hand carving it. Not like a rubble stain, you know, they use kind of uh, chemical or, or laser, uh, laser knife. There's an I there, and this is U. So you need, you need to consult me if, if you want to do such a Western uh, signature seal. I need to see if the letters can fit in a square. The best style is to squareize it. You, know, you may use only the initials, um, better than the four squaring with the little letters. So it's difficult. It's not very... Um, aesthetic to me. I, I prefer the squareized uh, Chinese script. So, if uh, possible, I would rather translate the name into Chinese. But this artist is very famous in Vietnam, go with this name. So, we have to make this compromise. There's little essence and uh, symbols, very tiny little dots. That's so more difficult than regular English. It's 
It's more like a French. I think they borrowed some French letters or symbols to make the to record the native language in Benat. Turn the stone. Good. Okay, almost. Okay, I'm like to clean up a little bit and then we'll do an imprint, see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to make a test imprint on this uh, paper. And here is the finished um, seal, you can see the letters in written uh, handwriting style. And uh, now I'm going to make this very curious to see how it looks like. Okay. The animal always face the left side or in towards the user well I think uh, pretty good it's readable and you can see that's a uh, very challenge to make a, like a little letters so I will leave that and just uh, polish a little bit the uh, thicker ones actually
team. That's okay, I think. Okay, you can see it's much better now, and uh, the border or the edge is very important as a supporting um, function. You know, when you make a stand, some uh, client asked me to take out the border. That will make the stand um, very difficult to print to stand. So I rather have the border. And I can make a very nice border, as you can see, uh, to match the style of the writing. Um, so that's it. Let me make an official stamp in my oven. Um, next to this Chinese version. Okay, this is the Vietnamese version of the same person. I like to thank Mr. Lei, uh, uh, Christopher Lei, for commissioning me of this uh, special seal. And uh, if uh, possible, I like to put this seal on your beautiful calligraphy and to show the public. Lei Xuân Trường. Hi, Mr. Lei. Um, how are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, this is Lei Sun Chung. Lei Sun is going to show us uh, calligraphy in Vietnamese uh, writing with a new artificial or synthetic brush we just got. This is Min Saigon, it's a beautiful city in Vietnam, and we will never forget. Saigon. We'll never be forgotten. 
And this is a seal that Henry Lee made for me in ancient Chinese name, Lei Sun Jiu. Okay. So this is the cha that Henry Lee made with my name, Lei Sun Jiu. Which means spring eternal. This is another child in my original Vietnamese name, Le Sun Chiu. It's got all the ink on there. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Mr. Lei. This is the calligraphy mm -hmm. of the work Saigon Never Forget. Oh, beautiful. And this is my Vietnamese letter chart. So now I have another mood seal to show my character and this is was uh, carved beautifully by Henry Lee see this so try to get all the ink on the chops for the other corners and here's a mood seal Beautiful mood seal. These mean all the writing have to come from the heart, down to the brush, onto the paper. This yep. is the way how I write your name, Henry. Okay. The first stroke is showing that, you know, with respect. And So then, the stroke on the circle means that the earth is rounded. Like even we far apart, someday we will be meeting each other again. And here is how the E. The E means the road is not straight. It's always curving and curving. But here's the end. An R and that's a Y and the last name is very important because the last name is to me is more important it's come from family to family so the word Li L-I is going to be like this and then here is the I Beautiful. Do respect you. Thank you. Really. Okay. With beautiful brushes. Thanks. By mm -hmm. Thank everybody for watching. And if you have a special seal like this in your signature style, you can design it yourself and I'll carve it for you. As long as you can write it with a marker pen. Thank you, goodbye. Sao, 
tôi sẽ hết buồn chất ngất khi cuộc tình mang nhiều đắng cay